Hello, so welcome back. This is Antful with Deus Ex Part 2. Uh, just before we start this new game, I have a couple of things I may have forgotten in my introduction and training phase. Basically, uh, a couple of reminders for this game before I jump in. Uh, it's not going to be a professional play, I will miss a few things, um, so please forgive me. I would like to ask uh, for no spoilers. Um, I know what's going to happen to the end, but I forgot some of the things in the middle of the game and obviously I just want to experience it for myself, which I suppose is fair enough, I hope you all can understand that. And what was the last thing? Oh yes, I will be using a liberal amount of the quick save, quick load features. I am going to mess up in this game, no doubt about it. Um, I always messed up a few times in the training as you saw, so with that in mind, if I do mess up, I will be going back and basically trying to correct my errors basically and playing it properly. I, if I just keep messing up and I can't progress doing it the way I want it done then I'll just continue anyway. But yeah, just, I thought I'd mention those couple of facts before we start a new game. But, well that's the negatives out of the way, let's just get in and see how this goes. New game. We will play, ah, uh, decisions, decisions. We'll just play a medium difficulty, I don't want too much of a challenge, but at the same time, I want to be challenged while enjoying the story. So, yeah, we'll play on medium, why not? We will, of course, have a code name of JC Denton, or real name. Well, we might as well keep it as JC Denton. We can change our appearance in slight ways. Well, decision, decisions. We don't get many customization options, we'll go with a default look. And we have 5,000 skill points to train with, first of all. To upgrade some skills. What do we want to train ourselves in? Pistols includes the mini crossbow which is probably the way I want to go. Um, I was trying to decide when I was like uploading the first part if I wanted to go snipe rifles or if I wanted to go crossbows at the beginning. But the crossbow I'm quite happy with so we leave these the weapon skills alone because I think I'm going to be more looking towards the specialist skills like the computer. I want to be trained in computer arts. Uh, medicine, not so much. It's going to be electronics or lock picking. Uh, electronics and and lock picking. Why not? We'll have um, a lot of environmental skills, so we can basically get around the place. And it'll save us on our lockpicks and our multi-tools. So hopefully we can get a good selection of them. So yeah, with that, we will have a go. Let's start the game. I think there's an intro scene, so I'll be quiet through that. Um, before we start as well, I will mention... I will probably try to RP this in a way that I am the consciousness of JC Denton. And I will be breaking the wall, fourth wall as that. Obviously, he has his own speech pattern, he talks to the characters, but obviously I'll be his like kind of subconscious, explaining things as we go. How I want to play it, I'm not too sure, but I won't spoil the storyline, I say it'll develop as the story develops. So, let us get a, let's get a show on. Let's go. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. The world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. 
I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality and we will be crowned its kings. Not better than kings. Gods. So yeah. Shadow reorganization. It's talking about ruling the world, basically. Always a setup for a game. So, here we are. We are on Liberty Island, where Statue of Liberty is missing its noggin. Fair enough. Let us have a look, quick look at what we have. We have a riot prod with some charges. We have a 10mm. Um, was it a pistol? With 10mm ammo, and we have medipacks. We have one medipack, we have six bullets, and four stun rods. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what else do we need to check? Let's have a look here. Anything? Obviously, what we've skilled in. I will check. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to see if I had the subtitles on. Game options. Subtitles on, yeah. What are the subtitles on there? Okay. For some reason they didn't turn up in that um, cutscene. So, let's go back to the game and... I guess we got on... We, we arrived on the boat. Okay, you stay there. Uh, is there anything in the bin? Nope. <laughs> right. Oh, hello. What's this? Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Oh, okay. Our brother is called Paul, not Alex. And I wonder who's that running towards us. We have soda and we have 40. Hello, mysterious stranger. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but you NACO better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gap gun, or a mini crossbow. And then he has our first choice. What weapon do we want to take? Mini crossbow. The crossbow. Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. With these tranquilizer darts, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the north dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. So, yeah. This is the headquarters for UNATCO. But... As soon as you've arrived, terrorists have invaded Liberty Island and hold themselves up in the Statue of Liberty. So, all fun and games there. Let's mess around with our hotkeys there. We currently have tranquilizer darts um, attached to our mini crossbow, but you can find flare darts, ordinary darts, um, yeah, basically other types of ammunition. Uh, our Gordon Freeman crossbow, crossbow, crowbar. What's in here? Binoculars, not so big. 
I will take a lockpick though, thank you. And I'm trying to remember if there's something in the water. Aha! Yes, there is. It's been so long. Do we have a wall? We do have an O2 meter. Oh dear. Let's try not to drown. Bioelectric um, energy cell. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay. Oh, we're stuck. There you go. Oh well, that's a good start. Uh, binoculars, yeah. Right, so, let us proceed. Can we still talk to Paul? Can he say something else? Uh, quick save. You just gotta stay here. There's been some activity at sea. I'm going to watch the coast. Why'd they bring you back to New York? I don't know what they have planned. I messed up an assassination attempt on one of the triad leaders in Hong Kong. Unatco pulled you out? It's a long story. You better head to the statue. So, Paul, our brother, was in Hong Kong, but he messed up. That sounds like usual. Oop! NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase, iron and copper. That's Alex Jacobson. He is basically our tech guy in UNATCO. We have some extra charges for our prod, and we found some ordinary darts for our crossbow. And I got a poke on steam. Ooh, crap. But I'll leave that alone for the moment, obviously. I'm I'm here for you people. I have no scope, and you can see my accuracy for this crossbow isn't very good at the moment. Oh, there you go. It's going in. There you go. Poop. Got you in the back. Right, now we just need to hide. Oh, crap. Is he unconscious? Yes. Is he? Oh, no. Where is he? Oh, he's unconscious. He ran for it and fell over there. Okay, excellent. Our first terrorist is unconscious already. Excellent. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Whoa! Sneak, sneak, sneak. Get a bit of accuracy. Bloop. Another one unconscious. Now we don't have many um, tranquilizer dots, so really I shouldn't be using these so liberally. But hopefully we won't need them. Uh, well, that's a lie. I do know I'm going to need them. <laughs> I remember the game enough that ammunition's precious in this game. Oh, we found a gas grenade. What's this one do? Upon detonation, the gas grenade releases a large amount of CS, a military grade tear gas. Cause irritation to all exposed mucous membranes, temporary blindness and uncontrolled coughing. Yeah, that sounds familiar. I have an I have an um, experience with CS gas. It's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Can we pick up his body? Let's just hide it behind here. I don't think it's too important in this game. I do know it's important in a later game. There's Unatco's head headquarters. Over there, but we don't really... Oh, there's a terrorist down there. Uh, I've never been over there here, actually, in any of my games, so let's see what they say. Can I get in here yet? Huh, I can. Okay. Freight base is under lockdown until the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right. How you guys holding up? You can't go command me to pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. We're taking a minimum force approach. We're cops after all. Ask me. 
I think we should frag them all. You trespass on UNETCO property, you get pumped full of lead. When due process fails us, we really do live in a world of terror. Thought you nanowogs were supposed to be badass killing machines. Guess I was wrong. Guess so. <laughs> some advice. <laughs> you get out there, you're gonna have to tangle with some real sons of bitches. Best thing is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10mm ammo and some crossbow darts. Say, 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. Um, really, I never really talked to this guy, but I will take the tranquilizer darts. for the tranquilizer darts. So much for that minimum force approach. What are you talking about? Tranquilizer darts are quite a minimum force. Uh, what's this guy got to say? Welcome aboard, Agent. Ah, well, thank you. At least you're polite. Ah, we have... We could unlock that door. We have another multi-tool. We could unlock that door. So, we have a few places we can go, but maybe we can find the passwords for these. Oh. There's another lockpick. Uh, we won't go for these just yet. We can. We always are around here. Everything was clear an hour ago. Then, boom. So we can't enter our base at the moment while the situation's a bit uh, volatile. Uh, oh, we did get a image, didn't we? Let's have a look at our images. Ah, so we start on the southern dock. Obviously, we're at Unaco headquarters right now. We can get to the northern dock to meet an informant, Harley Philbin. He has a key to the statue doors. I want to go that way. I never normally go this way. Oh, I never used to. So let's proceed the way I'm, I'm used to going. Yeah, quick save. Hear me running on this grass. Mulching it all away. There's a guy around here somewhere. him with a get him with a prod maybe sneak 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 oh missed there you go sneak sneak there you go it took a few shots but I finally got him unconscious yeah. That was that was a good um, almost a waste of ammo I suppose, but non-lethal takedown. I'm quite happy about that. Ah, we get an up and score another multi-tool. Excellent. Quick save. Ah, that's where it is. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Let's listen. That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. That? They cut off his arm, replaced half his face. Herman, right? He's a good soldier. Killed three of our men. They'd have replaced his whole body if it would have improved performance. That's how you judge a man? By performance? Then eventually it's not about people, but upgrades, versions, and functionality. All I know is we could use a few mechs for ops like this. As soon as we buy into the cult of the machine, we're just like them. Rhetoric. Always more rhetoric. Quick save. So yeah, this NSF are more for the hu human approach rather than going into all the upgrades. So we got one. Mm -hmm. That's him. Right. Now we have to run. Oh, no, they're not coming for us. Good. That could have been bad. I've had cases where that's went um, terribly before. We got 
and some more tranquilizer dots. Excellent. Some more enemy agents. This IFF's really handy for you know Ranger tells you who's friendly and who's not. Uh, oh, we have a friendly droid over there. So let's proceed. Oh, we have something else to break. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, I thought I was throwing a gas grenade for a minute there. I'm going to give myself a heart attack. Anything else around that I can see? So, where are we? Map. We are about here, maybe? Let's continue exploring. I want to go up that way, but we might as well see what else we can find. Friendly droid, is it going to say anything to us? Nope. It's a silent droid. Ah, okay. It all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. So this is the northern dock. So, let's quick save. We saw a guy there. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, there's two guys there. Okay. Can't really get him from a distance. Oh boy. So we got one of them, but. Easy now, guys. Hey, yeah, there you go. Tricks. Let's play Dance Around! Where are you going? More ammunition, tranquilizer darts, ooh, flares and cigarettes. I don't smoke, but thank you very much. Rockets. And some ammo for the sniper rifle. Oh, hello. Friendly. So, I wonder if that's the guy we need to talk to. Let's go find out. Oh, there's something to break over there. I think that's a medical box. So you can normally tell by the sign. First aid kit. I got shot there, didn't I? How much damage did I take? I got shot in the arm. Not so good, but I never took any moderate damage there, so my accuracy is still half decent. Oh. I think there's a barge underwater there. Interesting. Hello. About time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Passwords enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. Get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. Uh, okay. So he knows the commander of the NSF, NSF forces. So, yeah, we can't promise anything. I can't promise. In the line of duty, I may have to use force. Buddy, I don't know. The commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender right away. I don't see anyone waving a white flag. He's my main contact at the NSF. I need him alive and out on bail, or I don't have much of a business. You can forget the key. We have an emergency here. A terrorist offensive on UN-protected territory. Do you work for UNATCO or not? There's more than one way into the statue. You want to kill rebels? You're on your own. Eh, you should sneak in from the back. Less chance of a shootout that way. So, because I refuse to automatically promise I wasn't going to kill the commander, he hasn't given us the key to the statue's front door, basically. Which is fair enough, we weren't going to be using the front door anyway. But that was a choice in the game, and I failed it. 
Hello, Drifter Woman. You don't look very healthy. You the Sylvan? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. The ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 out 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said keep your head down. <laughs> like I'm gonna take on your NATO troops. Wanna? You can have the clip for 175, the 30 out 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head on attack altogether and not even use the key filled and guard. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. I will take the darts again. I'll give you 50 for the darts. The commander's the whole reason my neighborhood turned into a war zone. Somebody should stick him full of these things like a roast pig. <laughs> oh, so she's not a fan. But then I wouldn't be Eve, I suppose. So, that was some normal darts, some tankerized darts. If I knocked Philbin unconscious, I could probably get the key off his body, but... I'm not going to be going through the front door anyway. Let's see if there's anything in this boat. If I recall, I think there is, but I may need to use a lockpick. Can I get back onto here if I jump off though? I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, looks like we can. Okay, so let's go. Oh, we need to pick that lock. Okay. I think we will pick this lock, so let's get this show on the road. Okay, put the lock picks away. We'll get our flashlight on, and let's go exploring. We get some skill points for exploring. Oh boy. And I put my lockpick away. I uh, put my cross crowbar away. So yes, because we explored a place we didn't need didn't really we need to explore, we did get a bonus to our skill points. This would have been a point when I should have probably put some points in the swimming. Cause this is gonna take a while. Right, we found some weapon modifications, which I will talk about in a moment. Let's try to get to the surface before we drown. Ooh, just. So we found a shotgun, which I'll, I'll show you what I found in a moment. Let's try to get back up here again. Success. Oh, turn my flashlight off. There you go. So, let's see our haul. We picked up a buckshot shotgun. It uses 12 cord uh, shells. We found... A modification to increase uh, decreases the time required to reload a weapon, and we found an accuracy mod. Um, the harmonic balancer will dampen the vertical motion produced when firing a projectile, resulting in incre increased accuracy. I think I'll automatically give that to my uh, mini crossbow, and I might actually give it the reload as well. So now it's. Let's have a look. The base accuracy has been plus 9% and it's got a minus 10% reload time. I don't know how many uh, item mods I can give it. But I might as well use them because I don't think you can sell mods in this game. I think you can only buy them. Ooh, we found TNT. Let's not shoot that. So, let us save and progress. So, even she mentions we should be taking the back route into the statue. Which is ironically the way I like to go. So, let us proceed. Good thinking. You might be able to avoid some of the security by entering this way. Yes, we're about to enter the base of the Statue of Liberty, which is the NSF has taken over. I will end this part here because, sil silly me, I forgot to start my timer, so I don't know how long I've been recording. But next time, we will enter the Statue of Liberty and try and locate Gunther Herman, because he is supposed to be being captured by the NSF, and he's somewhere on this island. So, I'll see you all for part three. Take care till then. Bye-bye.